quarantine foods. Is he making food or is he buying a bunch of food? Because uh, he's in Iceland, right? So he's getting stuff oh. delivered to him. He's got, apparently he's, he's given the choice, or he was being given a choice between two different meals. That sounds nice. Yeah, they, they looked really, really good. I'm like, mm. I was watching them, at, going through them at while at work today. Mm -hmm. During some downtime, I'm like, mm. I want food now. I want really good food now. And... I don't have that readily available because all have. the good, all the good restaurants are currently like just shut down. Oh geez, still. We you I had to go. Yeah, I had like a couple start to open up now, and it's like okay maybe, but mm. my favorite place to eat is still closed, and I'm sad. Oh, I sucks. don't know if they'll reopen. Oh no. All right, Elena. Who do you want to win? Five. So, because we have to get someone from their team on bubble tea time, and I don't want them to be on a loss. Ah, uh, that's fair. <laughs> They're the last team. Really? We've had. Oh, that's right. We've had it. One of everybody. Mm-hmm. Mm, no, we get them for the playoff hype at the end. If they oh, don't yeah. win, it's like, all right. When they run the gauntlet. All right, time for you guys to run the gauntlet. How are you going to do it this time around? How are you going to do it? I guess technically we haven't had anyone from PO except for Brian, right? Yep. Uh -huh. Maybe we do get PO. We'll think about it. <laughs> Did they start the draft? They have not. Ginny is dealing with her dog, it sounds like. Oh. Okay. Draft. I need to close all of my tabs from this morning. And I'm not going to think about them anymore. Did you watch C9? No. Brian spoiled it. Oh. At the start of the day! I mean, it was a good way to start the day. <laughs> right? I was excited. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I'm, fan I'm feeling terrible because of COVID, but... <laughs> I, I, like, woke up and I'm like, oh, You're man. Doing... it's and, and then I realized, wait, it's 5.50? I have time to get in and watch the beginning of the game? <laughs> yeah. So you watched it live? I did watch it live. Oh, nice. It was very exciting. And then... I kept watching the rest of the game, so I'm like, okay. Okay, okay, Blabber, stop it. Why? Why are you giving the entire NA cast a heart attack? So now NA is guaranteed. Yeah, they through? found. They, they, they went through. They're today good. was the. Oh, the today's closer. the last day. Yep. Good. Not an embarrassment like TSM. <laughs> I mean, there were rumors about it. That was gonna happen after the but first. But it didn't happen. C9 really? always does better in second week. Yeah. The war competition. I mean, they also have the. They have what? Two European players for the EU week two buff. Mm-hmm. True. Hey, but it was my boy Blabber during the damn one game though. I mean, not Blabber. Uh, Vulcan. Sorry. <laughs> Vulcan Canadians. Vulcan was disgusting during the damn one game. Yeah. Uh, we don't talk about how how blabber was. Blabber is was oh, like. I thought it wasn't blabber diff. I mean, he did all right in, into damn one. Okay. But as the rest of the day went by, you're like, e blabber, please, please stop. Just make it to the second stage. Yeah, like literally, he he kept dying at river after like random invades mm -hmm. and after the interview with Dowling he's like I'm done picking these weak ass junglers that can't do anything <laughs> early game who is he playing in the damn one game played Udyr hmm. was it Udyr Rumble Morgana or something like that he played mm-hmm or was it more 
I don't know. There's some variation of that. But uh, the second game that was the game that ac that really mattered against uh, DFM. Yeah. Uh, perks kind of. Oh, they're going. They're going. All right. Mm -hmm. All enough right. preamble. Let me start the prediction timer. We got a 15 minute timer. Oh shit! That's a long one. I've noticed that if I do it at the start of pick band, usually 15 minutes gets us through the spectator delay. Okay, cool. <clears throat> Pike right. Ben, Hilkos Ben, Chastana Ben. Is that Anne Marie on Deep Dive? <laughs> Senna Ben. Do they leave the bard open? Oh, you're not even in the right chat. We're in the Milwaukee Bucks baby chat. Whatever. People will notice. You move down. You really want to move down? Is it not necessary? It's only us. Yeah. yeah. Nobody else. People are always going to come to this channel anyways. <clears throat> That's a lot of tactical gazelle bands. It really has tactical gazelle? Oh. That is... She didn't first pick. Whoa. Interesting. Whoa. I don't know how I feel. Dingly? Hey. Yeah. They left the bard open from the diamond bard player, man. You're not threatened by bard. Anne Marie would disagree. <laughs> <laughs> they, everybody should feel threatened by bard. <laughs> I said, okay. It's gonna be Rand <laughs> for sleep. Tactical Gazelle. Or is it finally gonna be his uh, support Malphite that he's been saying that he's gonna play? Mm. Yeah, it is. Probably. It is? Probably. I don't know. Oh, might I'm be, on the Jesse. Might be Jesse. Oh, the flex. I like Victor. the idea. But if it's a Malphite top, right? Yeah, but Victor, Jin, Carry Core, and a Malphite Kaisa sounds pretty dangerous. Uh, yes. Jinny Swain. Since Man Pug Pit has been playing it, last couple of BTL games. Puppet, show us the Viego. Ooh. <coughs> I mean, it's, it's divey. Fits the rest mm -hmm. of their comp.
No bard. <gasps> it's the bard. Baby. It is the bard. Let's go. Got wired on the what signature. What have we pick. all been waiting for? It's gotta play it one more time before the nerf. Oh, uh, bard's getting nerfed. I think so. Mm -hmm. This patch, this damage is going down. Makes sense. It's kind of his trades with electrocutors. Gwen. Oh. Okay. 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 How's it gonna work? Well, I mean. Who is he going into? The Malphite's probably support. Mm. Who knows? Maybe it isn't. Maybe the, it is. the Malphite is flex. <coughs> but Malphite isn't terrible into Gwen. Mundo. It is the Malphite support in the end. Okay. I mean. This will be an interesting game because at least Trundle can ult the Mundo, take all of his resistances and shit. Yeah. And Trundle kind of cucks Mundo in a lot of ways, but how does Gwen fare into Mundo? I have no idea. But Mundo can just build a lot of MR, I'm sure. I think Gwen loses. <clears throat> Mundo has a really s strong, um, I guess, three. Jesse would level up E on, on three, or even two and three. But Gwen doesn't do well into the fighters. True. Alright. Alright, time to throw my channel points into the dumpster. Wait, Dan, which team did you vote for so I can get your channel points? Uh, I'm voting for AR. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you're not gonna do the spicy thing? What? No! Are you has kidding the, me? Has the game started yet? It's about but, to. But he's oh, perfect. To all right, I literally voted all my channel points onto AR. All right, let's let's do it. Uh, how, how many? Uh, three thousand. Let's go. Wait. To be fair, I I was tempted by the bard to vote. Damn, Will. Oh my god, <laughs> dude. All Wait, my what? channel points have gone in the dumpster. Dang, how much you just been on deep dive, Will? 20k. Okay. God dang. 20k. 20K. Oh. How do you guys get that many points? Let's sit here and leave That's the chump channel change on. Will, dude. Dude, chump I change. mean, it's chump change for Ward and Landry, man. And Mitch. Ward has like, what, 100 and something K? I don't need more 100 enemies. something K. God damn. Um, color me impressed. When PO played against THD, I bet. Shut up. Shut up. I, don't remind me of my gamble. That was the downfall. <laughs> I bet my entire life savings on that game, Dan. I bet I bet a solid 30k on PO. I, be, I bet two thirds of my channel points on that one. Yeah, Ian says wired is at 172k. God dang. Damn. That's, that's just impressive. Aunt, like... Can we add a channel point redemption at like 100k for this is the next league game? That would what? be... So so like the channel point redemption at 100k and they pick the next uh, the next game that we, we all tournament that we all play in. Um, like well, the Valorant. Right. How many? Uh, 100k Neopets. is not enough. It's not it's, enough it's, and it's, we need it's, one it's, for it's, who's gonna... <laughs> we need a channel point redemption for who's gonna run it. <laughs> Come on, we all know who it's gonna be. It's not me, dude. Give me, a, um, give me my TFT tournament. That's all I want. Or you can all show the mechanics at the. The fuck is a RuneScape tournament, man? <laughs> it's whatever you want it to be, man. All right, whoever doesn't get bored, I never. I could not get into RuneScape as a kid. Oh, me neither. Honestly, like I thought it was the boringest game. I didn't uh, understand why people loved that game growing up as a kid. Because they got out of the starting zone and paid money. I don't know, man. Like they were all pretty broke kids with me. Like it was like the second group. No, fourth grade. All right, Zane for ARM tournament organizer. They're calling it.
One million points for a RAM tournament. Hmm. And like, what even is an a RAM tournament? Like, is it one v one? Like, no, what it's five v fives. A RAM man. I I I request that I have at least man butts or limch on my team. Because literally, that's what they play in their off time, which is literally you off play time. Play with your season what? seven team. Season seventy. Oh man. Your current team. <laughs> that's fine. We'll play, <laughs> plays fucking everything he wants, <laughs> and and then wins with it, and then tries to make an argument of can I play this top? And the answer is probably no, right? Uh, yeah, most of the time it's no. And even if he wins with Shaco top, I will tell him that our win rec record with Shaco, with me and Will on Shaco specifically, is... We have one win. We have one win. Congratulations. You weren't here during my share or take Shaco terror days on, on BTL. Yep. And I'm okay with it. That sounds kind of awful. I'm not not even gonna lie about that. I started one before in people many times in a row. I mean, Shaco I... felt strong at the beginning of this of um, this season. Is there a Playing season where with... Shaco's not strong? I mean, most of the time he's not. He's good in solo queue. He's not good in the team. Oh <laughs> well, yeah, that's because in solo queue people. Like, you can do whatever you want in solo queue. Kinda <laughs> true. I've gotten away with too many random support Lena, come here. Hi. Let me show you something. Is it no, it's cool. I think it's cool. Okay. How cool is it? Alright. Uh, goodbye to all my points. Look, it's Flyquest's New Jersey with their new logo. Look at that. Oh, you have a new logo? Yeah, look at that Wait, I have cool. zero points. I can't invest more. I like it. Can you buy me? Dude, if there are any team's jerseys which I would buy, it would be FlyQuest. Oh, yeah, FlyQuest is that. cool. Looking at comps, what do you favor, Brian? Hmm? What do you favor? Which comp? Is it um, AR or Deep Down? AR yeah. gets all my love. I mean, it's very straightforward, right? Um, I mean, AR's comp is super easy to execute compared to deep dives. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> it's I'm everybody, right see everybody get in here kind of comp, you know? I mean, I don't know. <laughs> Can't be that I'm hard. I'm I ready think... to see the bard plays, man. Yeah, I do think that the bard can be 
the real thing that turns this game on its head, or maybe even the Gwen if Gwen gets big enough. Yeah. But uh, I don't know. Jin and Victor are gonna have a really hard time surviving against the clusterfuck that AR is gonna try to send at them. Welcome to even though I think Trundle is a pretty decent pick, steal the window resistances and everything. Um, I don't know. But yeah, it'll be a hard game. It, it's gonna really hinge on Gwen having some strength in the side lane. <clears throat> and hopefully being uncontestable and then Bard, you know, canceling out a lot of the engages, etc. Yeah. I'm curious with this five stack here, are they looking for a late invade? Or are they expecting a late invade? <laughs> Minions have spawned. Wired told me that they're gonna have a spicy draft. I'm not sure if this is, you know, fully what they meant, but there is some spice there with the Gwen and the Bard, of course. But yeah. Want the heat? Comment Malphite. <coughs> Make sure that you can throw down a poke. Smile. Gwen with the early two. Gonna miss the snips, gets a couple auto attacks in, but nothing too major. Wow, that stun actually landed. Two hands taking a little bit of damage there. Looks like full clear from both junglers. <laughs> Victor's actually a really good matchup into uh, swing. That was a pretty good trade for deep dive. Putting chunks on the Callisto. Yeah, Kaisa. but AR has a lot of wave pressure. Yeah. So in the end, I mean, AR is still really happy. Oh, oh missed the cannon. Makes me cry that, every that time. That hurts. Cannon is king, baby. Ooh, I like this play by Man Pup. It doesn't actually go for the full clear on top side. Instead, recognizes that Avarion started uh, top side of the map and goes for the scuttle. But two hands backing up his jungler and making sure that he doesn't get double crabbed. Yeah, I mean, efficiency wise, if Everyon realizes that the top side of the map is clear, he could go top side. Yeah, take, take all the side. camps. I don't know if he recognizes it though. I feel like he should have, knowing jungle speed, but. Oh, he's seen top of the game. Not gonna get not too good. much out of this at all. He's gonna invade and take crosses here. But I don't know if Deep Dive knows that Xinjiang is behind them right now. I like this angle for AR. Oh, he might actually oh, just have Bard walk into him here. He does so much damage. Throws the heal, double flash, and first blood to the Kaisa. Yeah, and Man Puppet with really good positioning behind the tower there. They never sussed it out until it was too late. Alright. I think Brian asked it last week. How's Acid Rabbit's gonna keep it coming? Ooh. It's a flash out of Jesse. It's a good start. Jesse also gets zoned from this wave pretty hard. Yeah. I'm. Um... Minorly upset because Panting Puma has two ward stacks that he did not even 
try to use to check that bush. Mm -hmm. So like I said before, this is actually a good matchup for Victor. I honestly expected him to be a lot further ahead than this. But he outranges Swain, and you can just stand your minion waves, uh, shield over and over, and just like, E and auto attack Swain. Um, really no counterplay from Swain for it, so. Early dragon uh, for... Why are you playing with fire here? Okay, he's got the little tunnel. Magical no worries. Dream. Wired's looking to stop them. Gets the stop. Oh, the double stun, too. <laughs> Ooh, that's right. Oh, two hands. There's the dodges. Oh, yes. Two hands Dodging. is six. Might go for the all in because he's six. He's trying for it. I mean, no flash on oh, Jesse. Oh, whiffs the second uh, cast. I mean, this should steadily start favoring Mundo now. Once he hits six, he can definitely just heal back up, stay safe. Ooh, gank from Wired. Get some poke out, forces the flash off of Roscoe Trug. And despite the first blood, it's fairly close in gold. 150. Differential? Yeah. <clears throat> but it's an 800 difference in the 80 carries. Can't say we expected that much less, to be honest. Yeah. But I think, uh -oh. like. Here it comes. Uh -oh. oh, the, the Zinjel W does not hit. Good escape here, and the wave comes into them. They're actually kind of fine with this. Blazon should be yep. a little concerned with. Oh, misses the W. Oh, Jinjao's gonna come mid. They have to see this coming. Oh, oh that's. I mean, it's a lot oh, of victory damage right. down. Oh wow. Oh, Victor might go down though. Oh no! Flashes a dozen dodge of damage. <clears throat> he should back and TP. Yeah, it's not too bad for him. Or he's trying to bait it for Man Puppet or Varian. Okay, I got names confused now. What's wrong with me? Malphite should be six pretty soon. Could be concerning. Ooh, Ooh good snare. Oh, wait, nice. Nice damage. Nice. Oh, that's a kill. Why did he it lie? Oh, Everion. Oh, he's gonna live. He he goes in, takes the red buff from Man Puppet. Wow. That's <clears> a <throat> really good head double heads up play for Deep Dive. Actually a small gold lead to Deep Dive now. Yeah. Because their solos but... are quite far ahead in CS, including the jungle. Yeah, the, it's now turned into a 1k differential though in bot lane, and that's going to be rough. Oh, quick question. Do you hear that by chance? What? Good. Do not want to fight this. 2v1 at best. <clears throat> Tactic Zell is probably nearing 6, but should be a little careful. 
Yeah, <coughs> I mean, this freeze is really punishing. Oh. Blazon trying to duel the Swain in mid. He has no flash, though. Oh, times the shield properly and Ooh, gets the solo, solo kill. Ooh, solo, bolo. Uh, Blazon solo, Jinny in mid there. Tiny Guzel's level 6, looking for some blood. And there's a reason that the deep dive bot lane is not wanting to step up. And it's causing a lot, a huge CS differential, it's almost 50. Oh, the oh. Bartled comes in as... I mean, he's just gonna hold back into it them. Is. Everon I is gonna go down. Alright, oh, Jason here. doesn't go in. Wired has flash though. Oh, Man Puppet. The heal that he placed is gonna keep him alive. Man Puppet is gonna go down for this, surely. Oh, you're kidding. Don't. Oh. Please. Oh, you're I kidding. Nobody goes up, down there. Nick. I am, I am so impressed. Oh, almost weaves oh. it through. That, that was, uh, that was some good stuff right there. Man Puppet has been in the right spot at the right time for the bot lane multiple times this game. The first kill. And that, oh, barely living by the skin of his teeth. Yeah, that Zinjao got so much value, and Panting Puma could have just walked up instead of using his ult. Uh. <laughs> Wired? Okay. I mean, I just saw <laughs> Gwen stand still and get hit by a cleaver. <laughs> that was interesting. Oh, it's gonna be a lot of plates though. Oh, Malphite's coming in. Doesn't have ult though. Gonna play and run. Uh, Blaze on. Oh, really good tag. pillar. Pack goes L's here, but surely not that much value going to be found. No ult even up on him just yet. He does have flash for this next fight though. I like the, actually, I've seen the idea of the trundle pick with Ward, where you throw the pillar down to slow and then try and guarantee the bard stun. But I... I, mean, I can see that. I mean, it's <coughs> finicky, because you still need the proper angle. Oh, I mean, that's any skill shot. Nothing's 100%. Yeah. Mm. Ooh, they go in, and that should be a sure. dead Panty Puma. Dead Panty Puma, and dead wired, probably. Oh, that's oh, the double stun. Ooh. Oh, that oh, Wait, he kills him! No. Wired. Oh, wow, bard. Styles on him with the bard. <laughs> but I mean. Oh, it's only 250. It's still a kill to the ADC. It is a shutdown, but it's a shutdown on your support player, so it's not the greatest thing in the world. Hey, man, this guy carries on bard. <laughs> And key there is that Tactical Gazelle uses Flash. Mm -hmm. So he's not going to have for any potential team fights afterwards. Oh, probably change it for the objective timings. Ooh, the snips are starting to chunk. Yeah. Ginny ults it. Ooh, Jack Limestone catches Wired and. Does he though? Wired. Oh, he's gonna trap him. Oh, Jack oh Limestone my God. doesn't have ult. He just baited him. Wired actually styling. So is Wired a Jack Limestone script tonight? <laughs> I've seen several boom plays come from I mean, Wired every time, already. every time Jack Limestone dies, there's more time that the other lanes are catching up to his CS. <laughs> Panty yeah. Boomer down here can catch back up in the game, get some shove down. This is time for this team. 
And not just CS, but experience. Like, Panty Puma is ahead on experience now. Yeah. Oh, wow. Who needs CS when you have less death? <laughs> And speaking of CS deficits, Jesse's cut down the CS deficit in top lane. So he's not... Yeah, he I mean, I still do. favor AR's comp going... I mean, being a lot easier to run, though, you know? Like, gold hey, deficit man. or not, you have Malphite ult. And a lot of things to say, okay, I'm going in. Two yeah. hands? Oh, pops Ooh. the uh, window ult. Okay. Good news I mean, for him, he's I... just gonna reset and go for an all-in when he can get another shot at it hey, with Brian. an ult. Yeah. I've doomed AR because I voted for them in the predictions. Kill the I'm wave, the Nick. Kill the wave! What are you doing? Experience points, Dan. <laughs> oh, I mean, they scout the Jinja oh. behind them. That should be a dead turret no matter yeah, what. first tower. It's nice to fight afterwards, but... <clears throat> Aceravus should be happy with it. Ooh. Ooh, two hands getting hit by some cleavers, though. Yeah, I think, like, if Jesse actually fights him right then and there, he would lose just because of the Gwen ult. Really? Yeah, it does that much damage. Oh, what is this? <clears throat> oh, they're trying squad. to catch him. Ooh, the, oh, the stun. double stun! Oh, straight for Everyon the... just gonna try to fight it out. Oh. Bartle. Catches two. Looking Why are you just gonna try to solo kill him? Can't get him though. Get him. Oh, gets chomped! <laughs> oh, two hands goes man. down though. Man oh, puppet fail fails the flash, gets snared. Blazon's gonna get a kill. Jesse doesn't have ult. Oh, Ginny with the well placed W to stop the chase. I mean, they I mean, should just take dragon. Free dragon. Could be a tower too. Depends how they play this one out. Well, it wasn't just a W. The uh, Vladimir or the Victor ult went over the wall and aggroed the dragon. So the when, knockback came through. Well, yeah, when Mundo went yeah. through, he was early enough, but then the rest of them got knocked back. Yeah, unfortunate. I mean, that was still a solid win. I would say. I mean, that was pretty pretty lit by Wired to go for the solo bolo <laughs> over the wall. <laughs> I mean, he's been insane. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, Blazon is getting a lot of strength. He'll have a lot of stuff to contend with this he game. He should have his third upgrade now, right? Uh, no, no, might. I guess I could click on him how many stacks he has. I got it, I got one. it. He so, does not. Yeah, not yet. But like, considering, I mean, he's 3-0. I mean, he's gonna have a lot of stuff to contend with this game, though. I mean, Malphidol, Swain sitting on you, Kaisa diving with Malphidol, Jin Zhao. Like, it's gonna be a hard game. But if you can play it really well and stay out of all the danger, Blazon's been the highest damage uh, on his team yeah. by a significant margin, even on his one game as support Zyra. <laughs> that's that's always a good time. Yeah, re reason why is like uh, Glenn would win that one v one is because each needle he fires up to eight needles, right? Mm -hmm. And each needle should be doing at least, I don't know, at this point, 3-4% of their max health mm. on top of a, like a base value. And he heals for... I mean, he has no healing that. reduction though. I don't know if he can mm -hmm. burst it through an ult or anything like that. Nah, he'd have to wait till he base it up, but after that he might be able to win the trade. Which team he scales harder it. here into the... I mean, like, the ease of execution, you have to give some points just for ease of execution on AR. Right. But like, in terms of pure scaling, like, which team do you guys favor actually going like late late? Uh, like, I don't know, Zen Zhao's kind of disgusting in the late game, I feel. Really? I feel like not. Well, I, f I think, yeah. I think like, what? once Zen Zhao jumps into Gwen's um, kill, like, kill field, he kind of just loses. Especially, like, if we're talking scaling. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, I think Zen Zhao doesn't scale well at all, realistically. No, I think no, he only scales and... when he's gigantic to begin with, right? And... If you think about yeah. it... Yeah. Like, if you think about it, uh... Deep Dive has, like, a, a lot of area denial, too. Yeah. I mean, Zin, yeah, he, Zin does a skill super well. He does play well into this team where they have immobile yeah, days. Yeah, right, for sure. Oh. Uh, they're trying to enforce this ult out. Surely, wow, he's going to flash instead of investing the ult because Ooh. he wants to go back in. Panty Puma lives. 
and gets his first, I don't know, second kill of the game. And Ginny with the wow, ult. That was get. so yeah. greedy right there. He could have just ulted out and been chilling. Yeah, I mean, like, it, using Malphite ult to run away isn't, like, that bad. Oh, Wired. Oh, Wired's gonna tag him against the wall. Goodbye, friend. That's another kill on a man puppet. So Wired has been on point with these guys. Yeah, catches. Wired's been tearing them apart this game. It's his signature pick for a reason. He's gonna take the mid tower with it. Deep Dive's starting to claw away a little bit. 1.5k gold lead. Not the hugest thing because the bot lane differential is kind of gigantic still. 2k in favor of the Kai'Sa. But if you look everywhere else on the map, it's pretty Deep Dive oriented. 1.6 in the mid lane. Uh, 1.3 right in the now. jungle. I mean, Trundle yeah, so right will now have it's a looking good time. Pretty, uh, yeah, it's looking pretty Jack Flamstone I mean, versus DD right straight now. Straight up Baron. Wow, what a swing. Is this going to be the first Flame Horizon of BTL? No. But surely no. we've had good more. Season? No, we've had several. I flame like Horizon. Yeah, even Charlie Flame Horizon <laughs> in jungle. Oh. Even Charlie. Horizon. Even fucking Charlie. Wow, fu I'm fucking leaving. Fu <laughs> yeah, Elena, your vision horizon. <laughs> <laughs> You're playing. Fire. Oh, yeah, Elena had a vision horizon. I mean, it didn't I mean it's, that's the most insane thing, though, right? I mean, even if it's on Pike, it's a vision flame horizon. How often does that happen? Hi, Charlie. You're you're a very valued member of the community. I hate you all. <laughs> That's not Charlie. Charlie. You I, don't hate I me. You're not nothing get it. <laughs> it. Okay, so the thing is that this trundle, if we're talking about scaling, this trundle is gonna scale like a motherfucker, you know? Like yeah, because oh, yeah. take... he's having yeah. a he has a really good line of opponents. Yeah, yeah like, and uh, dude, AR scaling is trundle scaling. It's free. I, I do feel like realistically, once Mundo walks up, Trundle becomes unkillable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I've tried a lot of different mythics on Trundle lately. I really do think that Sunder is the way to go here into this tanky team, and it gives you the sustain you're looking actually. for. Uh, I I don't think that he needs to get on people because I don't think he's going to have any trouble getting on people. If they're people fighting, are they're going to be on to him. Go to him uh, lots him. of TPs. Yeah. But so this Baron, uh, this Dragon Dance is pretty interesting because Deep Death has Baron. They could just run down mid, and but if they do that in, in mass, they're gonna lose the Dragon. But the thing is, Jesse just burned his ult on top side. They both have yeah. TP, but Jesse is ultless. And Wind pinged it out. So. Lazon's going straight for the <laughs> oh, tower. Oh, look at the mid, the mid play here. Gotcha. The mid play is gonna give them a lot of pride on this tower. This is free tower. Got to run over. They're scared of the Malphite. Which lets them cut down, and this, this window is still stuck under tower with no ult. The Malphite is building pure Oh, that's a lot of damage onto Everon, though. I mean, he's just not going to be able to, to, to live after he goes in. By himself. Oh, oh, oh no, that's he's huge! He's, he's going to look for the counter ult, but... He oh, he just anything. dies! He can't even move! They tag a lot of people here! All the TP for all the TP. Two hands cuts them down. Oh, and Limestone trying to run, but Wired is hunting him. Blaze on, wax him with the Q. Oh, and it's a sweep. The only person that doesn't go down is the man that didn't TP. He had no ult to TP with anyway. Two hands had their number from behind, and it was just a chase down. And this is going to be a ton. Really nice TP. Inhibit least dragon. <laughs> So well played from deep dive. They're gonna take the bot tower too. Oh, two hand force so much pressure. Oh, on. Two hands might get so killed doing this. They oh, it's kind of throwy. It, they wanted it desperately. They're gonna give a lot of kills away because of it. Oh, wired. Oh, stuns a little too early. Oh, dodge oh, the stuns with nice. the, the stuns oh, into the, oh, oh, into the, the snare. Like, saves. Oh man! But I mean, they did save the inhib and take two kills. That's that's pretty big for AR. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a huge shutdown that they took. Yeah, but there's nothing on map to take back though. No Baron. I mean, it, they're just and two kills, save inhib. This is also just kind of how AR wins games though, right? They've been they've been exploiting the mistakes that other teams have been making mm -hmm. the past few games. That's how they came back and won against XO. 
And so you just gotta hope that you don't make too many mistakes. Wait, that fa sounds vaguely reminiscent of AR last season, Adam. <laughs> With five different players. Question mark? <laughs> Wait, I, I thought uh I thought Jack Limestone was uh nope. no, he was deep player. Okay. Oh, I thought he was Acid Rabbits last nope. season. Uh, he was on the immortal one and eight deep dive uh team. <laughs> Along with Timmy and Wired, right? Yeah. Yep. I mean Wired is the holder of the deep dive name at this point. I think the only remaining member on Deep Dive. <laughs> <laughs> they franchise yeah, tagged him. Big right now. They hold his bird rights. <laughs> Jesse has to pop ult. They're giving mid prior for this play though. I don't know how I feel about it. Seems like way too many resources. Wired? <laughs> <laughs> He's lucky that they did not have vision right around there. They just weren't ready for that. Yeah, they're like, oh, he would not just magical journey through here. Oh, he did. I just <laughs> gave a free mid tower, uh, though. Yeah. So, Brian, I gotta point out Adam's biggest complaint about the bounty system. Oh no, Gwen! Uh, oh no, Gwen! Gwen! Gwen, you had a way out. Beyond doomed. He's gonna get ulted. Ah, uh, he took a really greedy path back down in the bot. There wasn't even anything to fight for. Yeah. Yeah. So, Adam, what's the yeah. gold differential on Panty Puma versus Jack Limestone? A lot. <laughs> uh, yeah, I it's know, honestly lot. not yeah, as big as you'd think right now. It, but the biggest thing is that J uh, Panty Puma has. Oh, a yeah, bounty. look at that fucking gigantic ass bounty. And he's yeah. 2k behind. <laughs> I know, it's below Adam's complaints about bounty system. I mean, here it's not that big a deal because they are up. But yeah, man, sometimes you'll be down. Your team's down. You're behind your enemy. And you have like a giant bounty. Makes no sense. But oh, you're know. saying it's justified here because the team overall is ahead? Yeah, I don't care that much about it. It's a oh, catch-up mechanic. You should... Bartled was used on Baron to check... So that goes on cooldown, but yeah, probably it's, a safe bet. It's already a quarter of the way. Yeah, yeah, it's that's a nuts cooldown. What the hell? <clears throat> Bard nerfs incoming. Ooh, oh. a, there's a random stun. No, stun. Gonna... No. I mean, is, uh, everyone doesn't like, ult him. Actually, holds yeah. onto his ult, but they just force an ult for free and a TP, and TP and ult down for free. Uh, they're pushing but down they mid now. Yeah, yeah AR has inside track onto mid, and they're gonna try and abuse it. They might get a turret off of it. Wired's gonna tunnel straight through, so they can slow down the shove. They stopped the shove pretty easily with the bar tunnel. Uh, Bard's ult is ready now. I mean, they can just do the dance again, though. The Swain TP is down. I mean, they, they should just give the dragon and go for the Baron. I think so. Or they're just gonna shove mid. There is an exposed inhibitor. Blaze, Blaze on his back. Hit the back. I think with, with their champions, they can eat that Baron alive, but looks like AR is running straight for the Baron attempt. Oh, and this could be it. I mean, Malphite has ult. I mean, this is the, the wet dream. They're all standing on top of each other right now. Ult flash on the Malphite. Bardo goes through. Oh, it's and they turn. Oh, but the gigantic the Malphite ult. Mizell got a massive, yeah. And AR got everything they wanted there. They stop the Baron and they get two kills, and now it's Baron. F they actually just take the Baron too. And that looked so reminiscent of that damn one uh, play. On the earlier well, on the bright side, Deep Dive does trade this for a soul, probably. Soul? Yeah. They're trying to run over and stop it, but I think I think Ch Chundo does eat this up pretty fast. And the Baron goes down. They're pinging that him. Ain't nothing. He uh, nope. does not finish it in the TP he doesn't, he, from Mundo. I mean, he, he would do it quick, quicker with Sunder. I don't mm -hmm. know if it would be quick enough. If he had Sunder, yeah. yeah, he would do it quicker. Ah, uh, yes, the double jungler is the commentators right now. <laughs> Love it. I mean, he's playing, a, he's playing a really good game, so I can't get up. Alright, Mr. Zinjao expert here. What item comes next? 
Uh, I mean... Oh, Penny Puma is going down for sure. Oh. I mean, you probably just go executioners, just play for team at this point, because you're kind of behind. Yeah, and I think that ease of execution thing is coming into play right now. Yeah, I mean, I mean it's also yeah, team fight comp, the you baited them into a 5v5 straight outside a pit. Yeah. They sh I honestly think they should have waited for the dragon to spawn before they went and started the Baron. Yeah. Ooh! Nothing happens from that guy, so... Cosmic Drive on Barn? I didn't realize I could do that. I guess with the nerfs to... Um, Dead Man's Plate, you need some other item that gives you move speed and value in the... the ability Haste is coming in real handy. Using his ult basically on cooldown. His ult's super low on cooldown. Almost halfway back up. Yep. I really like seeing Brad players. <laughs> Are we gonna get the double flame horizon from Jack Limestone? Might. <laughs> I mean, do you even have to ask? I think it's already happening. It's <laughs> Is my uh, cat going coming through really loud? Yes, but it's okay. Took care of him. Baron runs out, but I think they get that tower regardless. Nope, nope, they no. kind of peel off. Good call. They yeah, didn't want to fight the potential four v five. It was a little bad for uh, the GD to see their lead slip away there. Oh, oh I like. Are they going for the bush cheese? Except nobody. There's on no objective there. Interested. Like it doesn't make sense for them to be there. For them. Guys, it could be a really bad one v one opponent for Gwen. <laughs> Dive wants to respond to this dragon soul denial. They're rushing towards mid. I think they they're not too worried about it through. because they got Bartle. Yeah. And it's not spawned yet, so they don't even have to bother checking. Ooh, stun. Oh, wow. Decent chunk That's a lot there. of damage. Oh, Jack Limestone is oh, actually still alive. Right, and that window, just window goes down, alive. but Gwen goes down too. A stun on Malphite. Oh wow, everyone's just gonna try to solo kill this guy. I mean, the trend of wins the solo there. Oh. Right. Uh, Jack Lancelot has no ult though. Ult anymore, but Ooh, no, get kills the Wire, but goes down. This is huge. This should be soul then for deep dive. Yeah. Yeah, this is an easy soul. Just 
looks like they're gonna send people to push for the mid and him. One like, that they've wanted I like for so play. long. A lot of value. I yeah. think yeah. Doohands did a great job, like, blowing some of Kaisa's cooldowns. Yeah, bl blew out the ult cooldown by going in there. Trace's life. I mean, Blazon did so much work in terms of, like, staying away from all the things that could kill you and then outputting <laughs> oh, yeah. damage back. Also, the initial stun stopping the main engage from Tactical Gazelle, mm -hmm. so he doesn't actually get a yeah, that was nice huge. ult. And honestly, he might be, like, you know, obscenely far behind in pure, like, CS and gold, but Nyx, like, chaining on top of these Bartles pretty well. It's oh, the double TP, the, the double TP! It's a double TP! This is really dangerous for them. Is this going to be oh, another deja vu moment? Uh, uh, Blazon kind of just deletes uh, Rash. Oh, they're dead! Gwen, Gwen trying to 1v1. Gwen kills the Malphite! If this is a sweep, it's game! End off this. this could be game, yeah. Oh, they can just run down mid. Oh, the Bartle. oh he catches oh, him! Oh, oh Wired is just putting on a clinic. And it, oh, the oh, TP? No. Blazon uh, trying to 1v1. Oh, he's buying time for his team! Oh this no! This is such a It's a clinic. G. <laughs> Deep dive beats AR. Deep dive taking them down. Everyone else's hope of first place alive. Deep PO, down. thanks oh, you. Man. Check your PayPal. Deep dive. Oh, the so time deep dive looks too. hell. <laughs> oh, dude. Wait. Wait. The it, greatest. It's all fucking wired. Wait. That is the greatest timing for a deep dive like BTT appearance ever, though. No. Like we were like, hey, I hope yeah, they yeah. win just so they can get on BTT. What better way to do it than this? Who do we Damn, want? Thanks for the, um, it has to be wired. wired. Dude. It's got to be wired. It's wired? All right. What did they have before? Nope. They won oh, did one he? game. Oh, they did have one game. I have no idea who they took before. Just get wired anyway. <laughs> gambled on. Oh, Dan lost his prediction money. <laughs> Dan, come on, man. What are you doing? It's not here. He's <laughs> getting wired. <laughs> Give me the money. Money. Deep dive. Wow, welcome to the school of Bard. But uh, we've got Blazon instead, given that Wired has already interviewed. Oh, uh, really? Oh, Alright, cool. you know what? That's fair, because I think Blazon I mean, tore off in later awesome. team fights too. Yeah. So. Alright, Blazon. First question is how does it feel to not be Wired? You know what? It's got to say, it feels pretty bad, but uh, you know, well, we're all working towards it one day at a time. Understandable. Well, I think, you know, it, this is a pretty big upset, obviously. Um, were you guys really confident coming into this game? Or was it just kind of like, fuck it, we'll pick whatever and hope it, it works out? No, I, I think we had a really solid plan, and the plan actually crumbled in Champ Select as they picked full dive comp on us. Oh, um, no. <laughs> But honestly, like we addressed the other half of our uh, roster in accordance to that, and I think uh, we were just coming into it being like, yeah, like let's just play a slow early game and see what we can do with uh, any sort of lead we get. And I don't think we really got any substantial leads, but the uh, the even game is what we were aiming for, and I think it worked out pretty well. Yeah, I mean, even though you guys didn't get, say, like a gigantic lead or something, not like the stompy games, I guess, of this week other than this one, um, you know, like... The lane differentials were pretty gigantic. Like the mid lane differential was huge. Obviously, the bot lane differential towards their direction was huge. Like you had some like clear cut carries. So, um, at least <laughs> you're slapping people with your wallet at the end of the game for sure. Hell yeah! Awesome. Did you? So you didn't expect a dive comp at all out of them, or? You know, we we were considering it, which is why we banned away the Diana. But uh, not to give away our draft or anything. But we were really actually just going for a zoning poke comp, and then like with a little bit of uh, of uh, of coverage there from Trundle. But then we're like, ah, yeah, if we do our uh, secret saucy pick in the bottom lane, it is not going to work out against this team. So we'll have to mm -hmm. shelf it for another time. I mean, we got to see Wired on his signature pick, and it was. Really, really sick. nice to watch. Yeah, it's pretty sick. Yeah, nasty. I also think like I also think the Trundle pick was like pretty pivotal here too. Um, yeah. he just got so much value in every fight. He one v one Jin in certain fights, just walk at him and beat the crap out of him. I mean, I mean, the other part was like in that fight for uh, Soul, uh, he just ulted the Mundo and it, he died instantly. 
Yeah, it was definitely like a pick where we were considering that or Mundo, funny enough, and then we were just thinking with what we wanted to achieve with our mm -hmm. comp uh, and uh, how. Oh, Brian, you we should go to the advanced details and show that damage. Oh, I did. I did earlier. Oh, you did? You, you missed did. it, oh, okay. bro. Unbelievable. You um, slow. I guess the. I, I don't know. It, it, how did you feel about them not banning uh, Bard? I mean, it, Wired is a Bard player, everybody knows it. And so Honestly, like, you know, they went through five bans without touching it. We were we were chilling. We were kind it? of just we weren't even thinking about it to be honest, because we had such a set plan. Um, and then we we're like, oh, they're all playing dive and like bards up. Like, how you feel about it? And it was like, yeah, like well, let's just ripper. And uh, yeah, turned out pretty well. So you know, when you have uh, X amount of games, diamond three gamer bard uh, wired, then yeah, I mean, what are you gonna do? For sure. I mean, he did more. He did a. <laughs> Pretty big, big chunk of damage that game. Did more than Jin Zhao did that game even. So. I mean... Yeah, and I mean, if you if you could translate Bard ults and Bard stunts into damage, this man would be top in the charts. So Unstoppable. Absolutely. Awesome. Well, thanks to the game. Any questions from chat? Uh, I don't know Let's if see. there's any. Any questions from anybody else before we go? Uh, was there any point in time when you were even a little worried? I mean, maybe uh, died a Baron. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, <laughs> honestly, to be honest, like, it felt kind of bad just because I, like, for instance, like, I misplayed that uh, skirmish pretty badly, but, like, we were at the point where we were like, okay, like, we can come back from this, we just have to play safe, and God knows DD knows how to play safe and turtle, so uh, it wasn't anything out of our comfort zone, and we just knew we had to take some smart fights and use our uh, inhibitors being up for once to actually exert some map control. So, no, I think we were, we, we weren't, like, confident we were going to win the entire time, but I don't think at any point we thought we were out of the game. Nice. nice. Alright, thanks Mr. Blazon, Not thanks Deep problem. Dive, and we're out. Goodbye, Shane. Peace, peace.